goes and we are going to get underway here Rory Deacon lays it back to Regan Booty Booty will play a left-footed pass downfield he was uh, looking for Ryan Biggers there so Gurung tries to win the ball back on it get it back spray it out wide to the number 21 Ben Winter on the uh, right hand side of midfield he plays it inside to Idris Kanu. one two between the two of them ball goes towards the far post as a header here chance for Barnett it'll go wide as we await for the corner to come in the usual action taking place in the area goes towards the near post headed clear by uh, Moyo as far as Regan Booty Booty wafts one back towards the far post decent looking ball that but uh, keeper Laurie Walker is alive to the danger Through to Dom Revan Revan plays a long pass downfield into the wind and uh, Zuma tussling with Moyo and uh, Sam Bone come to mopping it up Hadler plays the ball uh, well had like given a bit of a hospital pass there and the, as uh, Barnett attacked the Elvis end in this first period it's going to take a left-footed corner going to go towards the far post and uh, it's headed well it's actually a missed header and Hadler saves comfortably in the end thrown back to him he is now going to take the corner on this near side puts this one towards the near post it's flicked down it's gonna be a goal is it no it's cleared off the line and this follow-up shot goes over the bar good chance and he might win a throw in here from Maidstone he does win a throw he takes it quickly to Gurung Gurung is into the area he played to Vigas Vigas oh, is just saved save. by Walker I think he's probably fair to say the most successful player of the uh, of this era Barnett with a throw in right hand side Collins again takes it goes towards the uh, near post it's bouncing in the area to Havland just shoots wide and now the number five Marvin Armstrong is uh, almost robbed in possession he is robbed in possession Mason have got uh, two on one here and uh, Booty will play it to Deacon Deacon will uh, delay he'll shoot and he'll shoot over the bar I think Mason will probably be happier than Barnett with the way that it's gone given the uh, respective league positions and that is the half-time whistle so Maystone Beard now takes that left footed it's uh, headed clear by Booty and Shani Bear will just whack it out of the area so Deacon now trying to lay it off to Shani Bear great ball by Deacon Shani Bear could be in here but it's just too far ahead of him plenty of talent is Barnett have got a long throw here Colin just going to take it he's going to throw that one into the six yard box could be danger here from Maidstone Deacon will uh, chest it Deacon down. edge of the area to Booty lays it off to Burko. Burko will shoot and it's a great save there by Walker. Walker is absolutely furious. It certainly was. And, uh, Deacon to take the corner for Maidstone. Curled in towards the area and it's heading uh, well. Here's the free kick for Barnett. Cross towards the near post. Hadler is uh, fists that one clear. And uh, Deacon now rather buys a free kick in the area. <laughs> Classic Rory Deacon fashion really. It's not something we're unfamiliar with here, is it, Fred? Better teams getting good spells of possession towards yeah, the end of a narrow the game. Area. It's awkward bouncing around. In the end, the shot is charged down. I think that was the uh, sub is coming. There's going to be a second chance for a shot Ooh. here. It's a shot just over. It's it back to Burko. Burko towards the edge of the area. Tackled initially by Senior Booty. Will float that in. Almost gets to Vigas. It's not being cleared yet. And the ball oh. is going to go out of play for a corner to Maidstone. <laughs> And here comes Beard for Barnett to take the corner. Takes it left-footed, swings it towards the uh, near post. It's uh, won by a Maidstone player and Deacon will hack it clear. The game still goes on. Ball bounces on the edge of the area for uh, Moyo. Moyo is going to shoot. It's uh, charged down by Odesanya. Really good block by him. Now. Oh, dear. Here comes the corner for Barnett. Floated towards the near post. It's going to bounce across the area, and this is going to go wide. And after that theatrical amount of added time, that is the final whistle. <laughs>